Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer What's up guys? I am very happy because breaking news has come out from Kentucky. Now before I get involved in anything that about this, let me just explain something to you real quick. The woman that this is about is Kim Davis. For those of you that don't know who that is or have been neglecting to at least kind of pay attention to the news, she is a religious fundamentalist Christian who basically since the marriage ruling back in June has continuously tried to deny the rights of gay people from getting married despite federal constitutional ruling that that was unjust and illegal. Kim Davis has fought this and fought this all summer. She has even gone so far as the U.S. District Court being denied a stay and then being essentially granted a stay about two weeks ago. She then was try tried to get another stay granted this past Friday and that went to the Supreme Court. Now of course, and not surprising, the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of its ruling, sticking by its ruling, and ruling in favor of constitutionality, which is that gay people have the right to get married. So in a sense, the Rowan County Clerk has lost her bid and lost her fight, a fight that's been a waste of her time, the people's time, and a waste of taxpayer money. She has finally been put in her place and told you cannot deny the rights of human beings any longer. So, with that, Kim Davis has lost. The Supreme Court has ruled that she must grant marriage licenses to all people regardless of gender or resign. This is something that I have been wanting to talk about but haven't gotten around to it and actually more so was waiting to hear what the final result the final verdict was going to be now of course I knew it everybody else knew it that had been following this story everyone knew that this was a lost cause for her that there was absolutely no way in hell that she was going to beat the system it just was not going to work and the fact that she actually believed that she could get away with defying constitutional law makes her an even stupider bigot than I've ever than any other stupid Christian that I've seen. So frankly, you know, I think the verdict was not surprising, and I really think that Davis should have seen this coming. And <laughs> I think it's just hilarious. Now, I can do because I'm going to be watching, because I guarantee you that there's going to be more bigoted Christians like her that are going to be coming out screaming, oh, this is a violation of our constitutional rights, this is a violent, this is infringement upon our religious freedom. I'm sure she'll probably get a couple of politicians like Ted Cruz and a few other dumb numbskulls to join her cause, and she'll probably continue to march and protest like other like-minded friggin' homophobes and everybody else but essentially it's a lost cause you know she can bitch and whine all she wants but essentially it comes right down to a very simple fact whether you were elected or whether you were hired by an employer you're required to do your job and the duties of that job in this case she's been elected to the clerk county clerk's office of Rowan County Kentucky that clerk's office basically issue, has the duties and stuff like that of issuing legal documents, including marriage licenses. And that now that the Supreme Court has ruled that marriage is legal across the land, regardless of gender, you have to issue marriage licenses to gay and lesbian couples. No ifs, ands, or buts. Do your damn job. And like any other job, 
you leave your religious beliefs and your personal beliefs and your political beliefs at the door. For instance, I used to work at Carl's Jr. Do you think that I was allowed to express my religious, political, or any other personal beliefs at work? No. Why? Because number one, it's inappropriate. You are in a, pro in a professional work environment. You're there to do a job. I cannot necessarily, for instance, if I was Muslim, for example, I can't ne necessarily not sell somebody, um, that's a bad example, uh, Hindu. Let's go with Hindu. If I, I was Hindu, I can't necessarily not sell someone a burger because of my religious beliefs. I'm there to do a job. And, well, quite frankly, the main thing you do at that job is, well, you're selling people fat, uh, you know, food at a, you know, marketed price that is basically cheap and it is a cheap commodity, which is beef. The same is true for a clerk's office. You are there to do a job. You are there to issue legal documents. And those legal documents, in fact, probably quite a large percentage of it, includes marriage documents. So therefore, you are required by law to issue those regardless of your religious beliefs. Just because you may not believe in divorce because it goes against your religious values doesn't mean you couldn't that you aren't allowed to, it doesn't mean that you would be uh, exempt from granting divorce papers. And it's the same when it comes to marriage licenses. You cannot discriminate against anybody regardless of their race, gender, their sexual orientation, or their religion, or their political views, etc. Just because it conflicts with your views. Again, you are there to do a job, do your job, or get out and find a new one. And you can bitch about your livelihood, you can bitch about how your religious freedom is being taken away, but it's your choice at the end of the day. It's your choice that you wanted to be a fucking bitch about it. It's your choice that you did not want to do your job. And when I and so at the end of the day, it's basically your choice that you choose to resign or get fired or do your job as required by law and just learn to shut the hell up. You can bitch about whatever you want about how bad your job sucks like everybody else does when you get off the clock. But if you don't comply with the legal standards, which being in a county clerk's office, I'm assuming you're under the, pretty much under the thumb of the bourgeois legal system, so, and are there to basically provide documents that are substantiated by law, you are required to do that job. <laughs> so, again, do your job. I also think it's kind of funny because, it's, because there is also a level of hypocrisy here. Kim Davis represents that very authoritarian, right-wing, Christian, hegemonic, side of the American socio-political spectrum. She represents a group of people that think that, that, that they don't have to do their job, that they don't have to do, you know, that they can just sit back and not do shit because, oh, well, this offends me because this goes against my religious beliefs. Yet these are the same people that probably bitch about a single mother who's working two to three jobs, you know, trying to make ends meet can barely pay rent and and take care of her children and yet those and yet those mothers are called moochers I, and yet the, the, these right-wing Christians don't want to do their jobs or they don't want to do certain duties that are that are required under their job titles because it conflicts with their beliefs so it's okay for you to be lazy because oh it's your Christian belief, but someone who works their ass off to provide for their families is a mooch. Makes perfect fucking sense. And that's what we like to call right-wing logic or Christian logic. Because these are the people that absolutely just, you know, control, 
It also has a high level of white privilege, I can also say that. But uh, as far as things go with the very conservative and right-wing Christian side, it definitely shows a great level of hypocrisy as well as this hegemonic domination that they hold. They think that just because, you know, they have a particular religious belief, that they can do whatever they want. Also probably, you know, clouded is the fact that they think that they were given a divine, God-given right to, to, to basically do whatever the hell they want, because supposedly this is a Christian nation, which I hate to break it to you, but I believe under the Treaty of Tripoli that John Adams basically said that the United States is in no way founded upon the Christian religion or Christian theoc or the any Christian doctrine, that we are a secular nation. That has been said time and time again, and it is even written in our Constitution, something that you probably mistake for the Bible, and vice versa. And, quite frankly, I'm glad that they're being taught what's actually the difference between the Constitution and the Bible, that you do not have a right to discriminate against people because of their, because of the, their sexual orientation or their gender. So, frankly, I am very happy, very satisfied, and not very surprised at the whole fact that Kim Davis has been put in her place. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace, bitches.